Good morning, my name is Troy. And I am Zane. Welcome to NHMS News. It is September 23rd, 2022 in the news. September 15th is International Dot Day. The dot is a story of a teacher who dares a student to trust in her own abilities by being brave enough to make her mark. What begins with a small dot on a piece of paper becomes a breakthrough in the start of her new career, which has gone on to inspire countless children and adults around the globe. This day was created by adults and children for boosting courage so that their creative potential is released. I interviewed Mr. Schmidt. He is a middle school and elementary PE teacher. This is what he had to say. So first question, what is your favorite sport? Um, that's a great question, Zane. Um, my favorite sport is actually the one that is currently in season. Love sports, so right now I'm coaching volleyball. Uh, basketball rolls around, basketball would be my favorite. Track is hard to beat. I did track in college, did basketball in college. Then obviously in the summer season, I like to umpire. So like that. Yeah. Uh, second question, why did you become a teacher? Why did I become a teacher? That's another great question. Uh, I think all teachers kind of mold themselves into different reasons of why they got into education. Mine is because I see individual growth, a lot from PE, so we just went over goal sheets and stuff for class. Uh, but the main reason for me becoming an educator is because I get to see all of you guys in different facets throughout the day. I get to coach you, I get to see you in class, I get to see you in the community, and my overall goal is to create community members that are gonna be productive citizens. Uh, next question. My favorite thing about teaching is playing. I get to play all day. There is no better job than becoming a PE teacher. Like we're, we, have the, we have one of the most wonderful jobs. We get to see you guys actually engage in class. Fitness has always been very important to me. Um, and then I get to teach you guys how to stay active and healthy over a life. All right, thank you. Hey, thanks, Amy. Let's turn it over to Israel for sports. In volleyball, eighth. Play in Wakanda way, 18 won, 21 to 18, first game, second game won, 21 to 9, third game won, 21 to 18, B team lost, first game, 17 to 21, second game, 21 to 23, third game, 19 to 21, C team won, first game, 21 to 9, second game won, 21 to 17, third game won, 21 to 19, D team won, first game, 21 to 16, second game, 21 to 14, third game, 21 to 17. 7th grade play walk on home, 18 won first game, 21 to 18, lost second game, 20 to 25, lost third game, 12 to 25, B team won first game, 12 to 12, second game, 25 to 14, third game, 25 to 14, C team won first game, 25 to 9, lost second game, 25 to 15, lost third game, 25 to 13, D team won first game, 25 to 6, Lost second game, 25 to 18. Lost third game, 25 to 17. Overall, 36 to 11 matches. For football, eighth grade won 8 to 0 against Cresco. Seventh grade lost to Cresco, 24 to 8. For cross country, the middle school cross country team ran at Osage on September 13. For the girls, Sophie G plays seventh. Cassidy M plays 59th. Addison N plays 69th. The, for the boys, Connor has played place eighth. Let's turn it over to Kinnick for the weather. Friday, September 23rd, high of 56, low of 47, with a 51% chance of precipitation. Saturday, September 24th, high of 73, low of 52, with an 8% chance of precipitation. Sunday, September 25th, high of 64, low of 44, with a 6% chance of precipitation. Monday, September 26th, high of 64, low of 43, with a 4% chance of precipitation. On this date in 1985, rock and country music artists participated in Farm Aid, a concert stage in Champaign, Illinois, to help the nation's farmers. Upcoming events. On the 23rd of September, there will be a 9th grade football game at the Crestwood High School. Also on the 23rd, there is a varsity football game against Cresco at Cresco. The 24th, there is a 9th grade volleyball tournament. There will be an 8th and 7th grade volleyball game against Decora. There will also be a football game against Cresco on the 26th of September. On the 27th, there will be an 8th and 7th grade football game against Decora. 
There will be a volleyball game against Crestwood. There will be a 7th and 8th grade cross country meet. There will be a volleyball varsity against Waverly at New Hampton. Thank you for watching NHMS News. It's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a Chickasaw. Chickasaw.